In another part of the city, volunteers met up at the Knoxville National Cemetery to pay their respects and teach the next generation about the importance of the day. The event was held from 10 a.m. to 1 o'clock this afternoon, was set up by Carry the Low, that's a national nonprofit that works to preserve the sanctity of veterans' memorials. The organization set up volunteering opportunities like this across 67 different national cemeteries across the country, including the crew here in Knoxville. We are told more than 2,000 people helped carry the load today. We also want to take a moment to remember three people with ties to East Tennessee who were killed in the attack on the World Trade Center. Tony Carnes, Rob Lenore, and Tim Haviland. All three of their names are on the National 9-11 Memorial in New York and also on the local dedication here in downtown Knoxville. And this is a live picture of Ground Zero in New York. This morning, former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris actually stood united at Ground Zero less than 12 hours after their presidential debate. The focus, of course, shifting away from the political rivalry to remembrance of 9-11.